In this video, I'll be teaching you how to find the center and radius of a circle. So before we start finding the center and radius of these two circles, we will have first the standard or the center radius form of the circle. We have here x minus h raised to 2 plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. In this form, your h and k stands for the center. And then, the variable r is your radius. Now, so we have here the problem. Find the center and radius of a circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y is equal to 20. So, the first thing you need to do is, you need to regroup the equation by the variable. First, you need to group the equation or the terms with the variable x. You have here x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 6y is equal to 20. And then this time, you need to group them and close them by parentheses. You have here x squared minus 4x and then write a space in this part of the equation plus the quantity of y squared plus 6y plus space is equal to 20. In this part of the solution, you're going to perform completing the square. So how to find the third term and the third term in this part of the equation? You need to get negative 4 divided by 2 and then the answer is negative 2. The quotient here, you need to square it and then the answer is 4. That is the third term of this equation. So you have your x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then for this part of the equation, the coefficient of y is 6 divided by 2. The answer or the quotient is 3. Then after that, you need to square it and then the answer here is 9. 9 is the third term of this part of the equation. So you have here y squared plus 6y plus 9 is equal to 20. Plus 4 plus 9. And then simplify it, you have here... 33. Now, remember, we applied completing the square, so therefore, this term, or this trinomial, is a perfect square trinomial. Same with this trinomial. So we can represent, or we can express this as square of binomial. The, square, the factors of this one is x minus 2 squared and then for this trinomial, this is plus the quantity of y plus 3 squared. So our new equation is the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y plus 3 squared is equal to 33. This is the center radius form, or as you can see, this equation is already in center radius form. So we can easily find the center that is represented by h and k, and the radius r. The center of this equation is just 2 and negative 3. And then for the radius, since 33 is r squared, you have here the square root of 33. Now for example number 2, we have here 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 16x 
minus 24y plus 51 is equal to 0. First thing we need to do to find the center and radius of this circle is to write it in center radius form. But before that, you need to regroup the terms of this equation. The first group will be for the x terms. So you have 4x squared minus 16x plus 4y squared minus 24y and then transpose 51 to the other side of the equation which is equal to negative 51. As you can see, we have here the coefficient, coefficient of 4 in x squared and then y squared. Since we have here the coefficient of 4, if the coefficient is greater than 1, therefore you need to divide it by the coefficient of the x squared and y squared. So we need to divide it by 4. So the new equation is that we have x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y is equal to negative 51 over 4. As you can see, the coefficient of x here and y squared is equal to 1. So we can now perform completing the square. Regroup it so you have x squared minus 4x plus space plus for the y part you have your y squared minus 6y plus space is equal to negative 51 over 4. Now to get the third term, get the coefficient of x which is negative 4 divided by 2. Still the answer is negative 2 raised to 2. You have that as equal to 4. So the trinomial here is x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then for the white y part of this equation, we have here, here negative 6. Negative 6 divided by 2. The answer is negative 3. And then square the quotient. That's why you have here 9. So the third term of the y terms is 9. Since we added here 4 and 9, you can also write here plus 4 plus 9. And then simplify first this equation or this part of the equation or the, the constants. You can have this at the LCD is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. times negative 51, so you have negative 51. 4 divided by 1 is 4, times 4, you have plus 16. 4 divided by 1 is also 4, times 9, you have here 36. So this part will be equal to 1 over 4. We have here negative 51, and then 16 plus 30, 36 is equal to 52. So the answer is 1 all over 4. Now, since these three terms are perfect square trinomial, you can express, is, uh, express it as x minus 2 squared plus, also with this one, y minus 3 squared. Since this one is already in center radius form, we can get the center h k as negative two. Ah, sorry, rather, this is positive two comma three. And then for the radius, this is one over four get the square root of it, and then the answer is 1 half. 
the center of this equation or the circle is 2 comma 3 and the radius is 1 all over 2. That's it. This is for the topic of finding the center and radius of a circle. Thank you.